Okay, here we're going to do the word closed. Now, as we, first thing we'll look at is the CL combination. As you can see, when you put the C into the L, well, there's a special combination where we just kind of do a swoosh. I prefer to do it on this side like so. The C, can, the C dash can be drawn on either side, as we've seen before. So, just so we look at that before we start here. Now, the CL also provides plenty of other options, too. So let's start out with the simplest possible combination, and that would be C, L, O, S, E, D. Okay, now for double combinations, we'll start up here. As we've seen, we've got our CL. For LO, well, there's not a lot of special combinations where we can put the O into the L, but we can put the O anywhere we want on the L. We can connect off of any of those points. OS, well, we could put the S inside of the O if we like. Um, SE, well, we can make those a little more cursive. And ED, well, we can draw the D directly over the E like so. So we've got a whole bunch of options there. Let's see if we can't make a few nice ones. So, the, oh, the other thing we got is once we got our C, we could then draw the L off of there. So, we then have these options for connection points afterwards. Uh, the, C, the C and the L are both nice letters. They give you a lot of connection points, as you can see. Uh, the only one that's better would be an X, which would give you one more connection point than the L. Or two more, sorry. So, as we can see, there's a whole bunch of possible permutations here. So, we could go C, L, O, S, E, D. Uh, C, L, O, S, E, D, C, L, O, S, E, D. All you got to do is make clear the writing sequence. Make sure you don't mix up the, the letters and put them in the wrong places. Like if you were to go C, L, O, S, E, and then D, you would actually have C, L, O, E. Just make sure that you keep your sequence. Okay, so knowing all of that, now we can look at the CL version. C-L-O-S-E. Now, one thing I like to do is draw the D through there like so. But, of course, you're going to want to make that look a little better. So the best way to do that, I find, is to actually connect the S into the E like so. And then you can just draw the D vertically or some other, another way. All it has to do is cross through there and clearly come out of both sides. And then the other thing, we could then put that there, for example. C-L-O-S-E-D. Okay, so we've got a lot of fun we can have with that. I'd say the best way would probably be to try to use this. What we could do is we could use an S. So if we were to connect an S here, we'd actually want to just draw that into that. So what we'd do is we'd draw an S, and we'd draw the CL at the top. So we'd have C-L-O-S-E-D. That's not bad. Let's see what else we can do. Let's try to build it into a nice box and try to build something easy to draw, but maybe somewhat significant of the idea of closed. So we've got C L O no. Let's try this. C L O S E. There, I like that. Closed. This kind of looks like maybe a door. I'm not sure what this is over here, but this kind of crosses over the, the break in the door, making you think of kind of locked or something. The OS OSC on the other side, maybe you'll have to find a way to visualize that as it. But as you can see, we go C, L, O, S, E, D. And we can actually save another stroke over here. If we go C, as you can see, we can draw this all together. And then you simply add the O up there. Closed.